What's going on guys? Shane here with Coach PJ. Oh yeah, and today we got five drills you can use a tennis ball or a racquetball with to help with your reflexes, your defense, and your timing. For this first drill, I'm going to simply be throwing the tennis ball at Shane. His job is to get out the way and to improve his defense. Simple and light. We start off with a rhythm. Once Shane is good and comfortable, we'll start to pick it up. Now, as the person defending, one thing I've noticed is it's not just head movement, it's footwork too, right? He could be moving, we could be both be moving, and I need to just get my body out of the way. And of course, keep your hands up the whole time because if I don't move out of the way, I'd rather get hit on the forearm or on the hand, same way in a fight, rather than get smoked in the face with the ball. You could also work in shadow boxing as well, counters. So to increase difficulty, I can just increase my speed or we can close the gap. Ah, oh. And for this next drill, we're just going to play catch. So Shane's going to start off with dropping his uppercuts and catching the ball, teaching himself to react and bring the hand back to his face. We're starting off really easy, he's chambering the punches and reacting. So to change the difficulty, we're going to start going with a straight punch now. He's going to rotate the hand and start catching, turning the body over top. Teaching his mind to see his eye-hand coordination increase. And then that happens. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, on this one I noticed it's easier, but also it gets the point across that when I get full extension is when I need to squeeze my hand. Same way when I throw a punch, that's when I need to squeeze my hand upon impact. So it's not only working accuracy and reaction time and coordination, it's also making sure that I squeeze and grip the forearm muscles at the end of my punches. For this next drill, we're going to be working timing. I'm going to simply be dropping the ball right in front of Shane's eye level. So we're going to start off our difficulty by having both his hands in the front. The next difficulty, Shane's hands will be behind his back. Oh, try the same side. There you go. It's tough. <laughs> and our last level of difficulty, Shane's gonna have his hands up nice and high, protecting his face and his guard. We got four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next drill is basketball dribbles. So what PJ is going to do from the start is just one hand, one ball, same side, keeping the opposite hand up. And the importance with this drill is that he's also working his footwork too. So it's not just standing in one spot and trying to control the ball. The ball is going to be moving, so you need to adjust and move around accordingly, the same way you do in a fight. To increase the difficulty now, he's going to dribble from one hand to the other, using both hands now. And to take it to the next level to be even more challenging is we're going to use two balls Woo. and each ball, each hand, dribbling, moving, and again, trying to use your peripheral vision to look forward so that you can see the balls with just your peripherals the same way you would in a fight. You're not necessarily going to see those punches coming in, so you need to adjust and move and see those balls coming and stay with them. Last drill here is going to be bouncing the tennis ball off the wall and catching with the opposite hand. So I throw it the right. Catch with the left, throw with the left, catch with the right. Once you get this rhythm down and you're comfortable here, then you're going to do two balls, same time, catching with the same hands. Again, this is really going to work on the peripherals because you're not going to be able to stare at both balls at the same time, so you have to be able to catch with both hands. Definitely going to improve on your boxing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So remember, tennis ball is going to be a little bit easier to see, easier to catch. Racquetball is a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit more advanced. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you. Until then, I'm Shane. It's Coach PJ. Fight tips for the underdogs.